Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're gonna go over a really cool trailer. We got a big Cimarron living quarter sitting here. Um, we haven't done one of these in a while. Um, we just got a really nice custom order in that a customer actually custom ordered. Um, this is a 2023 Cimarron North Star. It's got a 16 foot four outlaw conversion inside it. It's a really cool trailer. We started this process probably last spring on this trailer. Um, some customers of mine, they're great customers. So if they're watching this, I was gonna say thanks and you guys are awesome. Um, but we'll start walking through this trailer. It's got a really cool slide out in there, double couch setup. It's a really, really cool layout. And we did a really, really cool setup on the outside of this trailer as well. So first things first, we'll just start. We'll go right in this living quarter. Again, we have these drawings we're gonna show you guys. Um, I'll give you an example of how we kind of start that process and lay this trailer out. So again, it's a 16-4. When we start doing these drawings and stuff that you guys are looking at right now, you come in, you sit down, you pick what you like, what you don't like. You pretty much get a markup, a whole sheet of paper that you're gonna see. Um, pretty much pick out what you guys want to see as far as the layout and then we actually we go down to Stephenville you go meet with the manufacturers and sit down and pick all your finish options pick all your finishing touches and stuff like that but you'll get to see just how well it turns out when that process all comes together as we step in this trailer so inside this trailer again you guys just took a look at those drawings there um, it'll kind of make more sense when we step in this trailer this is a 16 foot four outlaw conversion. It does have a slide out. We'll start up here in the nose of this trailer. Over here on our passenger side wall, they do have a refrigerator mounted down low. The cool thing about these fridges we're doing with outlaw, they are Dometic double fridge uh, freezer combo. So a lot of times in horse trailers you get, you get a fridge that's mixed with the freezer. The way we do this, it's separated. So you have your freezer up high, then you have your big fridge down low. So again, super cool that we get to fit a big, almost, you know, I think this is an 8.0 fridge. We can do a 10.0 if you guys want, um, but it takes up quite a bit of space. You are getting a really, really nice sized fridge for having a trailer. Up high, we have your 32 inch TV. It is a smart TV. And the cool thing we do on it is we actually mount it to the cabinet door itself. So it still allows you to swivel that out. But then again, it gives you some storage behind there as well. So we think it's really cool that we get to give you guys that storage behind the TV and it's not just dead space because we all know in trailer storage is kind of hard to come by. Behind that TV, we do have a big uh, cabinet. It is a separated cabinet. We have some heavy duty built shelves in here as well. So again, great place to store stuff. Um, again, get all the storage we can possible in these living quarters trailers. Outlaw is great about working around, giving you guys storage, but still giving you guys great amenities to use in this trailer as well and kind of give, keeping it all in a condensed package. You don't have to build a 20 foot living quarter to get everything you guys want. Again, this is a 16 foot living quarter. Again, a very moderate sized living quarter. It's not huge, it's not small by any means. Just a great little setup and they really worked around well in this trailer. Up in our nose, again, it's queen size matches up here, but we do have our hideaway door. So again, if you wanna kind of separate yourself, if you're having some guests over, friends over, I know the people who built this trailer, they go to their shows. Um, they actually have friends that built the trailer similar to this. So they go to the shows, they have people over, they entertain. So they wanted to be able to keep separate if someone's staying over, if they're entertaining guests and someone wants to go to sleep, they can go up here and close themselves off. Up here in our nose, we did kind of a custom wardrobe here on the back wall. It's a little different than what you guys are used to seeing as far as just a double door storage area. We do have our two cabinet doors in the middle that'll open up to some storage, but then we did shelves on each side so they can you know, throw phones up there, throw waters up there, um, kind of keep their stuff organized as they're sleeping up there and have it easily accessible. Then on each side, we went ahead and we did plugs, both you know your typical 110 volt plugs as well as your USB plugs so again just keeping stuff plugged in you're always pretty much going to crawl in bed plug your phone in you'll have it right there you can toss it up on that shelf behind there again just making it really user friendly the other cool thing we did is we put dimmer switches on pretty much all the lights in this trailer so up there next to your head you have the option to shut these lights off we also have the option to dim those lights if you're maybe thinking about going to bed but not wanting to completely shut the trailer lights off you can dim them down to there's just a nice vibrant light and you can do that through this whole trailer pretty much so that's something really really cool we did in this trailer and then again kind of tucked away on this back wall. Again, mounted on a cabinet so you will have some storage. We do have another 32 inch smart TV mounted on that cabinet there. So again, you can keep some of your remotes, everything like that, DVDs, whatever's gonna be tucked away behind that TV and out of the way. Moving back over to our driver's side of this trailer, this is kind of our kitchen area. We went ahead and when we were down at Outlaw, these customers looked through samples of you know different styles of countertops, different uh, countertop materials, and we settled with this Corian countertop. It turned out really, really cool. It's almost like a granite, but it is Corian, so it saves a little weight hauling these big trailers. 
We do have our covered two burner cooktop, again, covered in that Corian. So it's gonna give you more counter space when you're not cooking. It's just gonna kind of make that countertop seamless for you guys, especially since countertop space is hard to come by in a trailer. And then again, your Corian covered sink. And we actually did these really cool hammered, I believe it's hammered nickel uh, sinks here. And in the back, we did something a little different, which is really cool. But again, hammered uh, nickel sinks. So we can do a lot of cool stuff in these trailers. Um, and it's really fun. You go down to Outlaw and you get to see everything that they can do. Um, you get to see hundreds and hundreds of options in these trailers. Down low, we do have our six gallon hot water heater positioned there below the sink. So again, easily serviceable. You know what's hot, you know what's cold. Outlaw is really great about keeping their stuff really organized. We do have some drawers, customer ops. This is something I've never seen in a trailer before. So it's really cool. Outlaw did this for us. We do have your removable, you know, kitchen utensil separator here in our top drawer. I've never done this in a trailer, but it turned out really great. Again, keeping your stuff nice and organized, keeping that outlaw look in this trailer. You're not going to have to throw a plastic organizer in here that's going to slide around. It's perfectly fit to the drawer. Really cool that we did that. And then again, just some bigger drawers in this tra trailer, your outlaw manual that comes with this trailer. And then again, just some more storage. And then up high, we do have our microwave convection combo. Again, super cool, um, especially that you get the option. We're not, we don't throw a lot of ovens as far as full ovens in these trailers, but doing this microwave convection combo, it's going to give you guys about everything you guys need to be able to cook whatever you want in this trailer while you're traveling. Spice cabinet over here to the right of this microwave, and then again, some more storage up high. The thing I want to point out, they added this on. We do this on a few trailers. Um, they're traveling in winter months most of the time, so they wanna make sure that you know they have enough adequate heat. So all the heat in this trailer is ducted through the roof, but another thing they went and did is they did duct their furnaces underneath their cabinets where all their plumbing is. So anywhere there's plumbing, their furnace is gonna run air underneath those cabinets and keep that plumbing nice and warm. So that's one thing they did add on this trailer. It's a really cool option we can do. Let's come over to our slide outside on our driver's side. It is an oversized slide with an oversized folding couch. First thing you're gonna notice is they went ahead and did this silver crock on their couches and kind of some of their valence accents. Um, it turned out really cool. Sometimes we'll do crock and we won't do the full back. We'll just do like maybe your top six inches. They wanted their full back silver crock and it looks really, really good with this gray. Really cool setup in this trailer. And again, this will fold out to a bed. We did it in oversized couch because again, it's gonna be more so maybe if they have someone sleeping over, it's gonna be an adult. It's not gonna be a kid. So we wanted to give them enough space, you know, for a bigger adult to be able to sleep on this couch comfortably. So again, oversized couch. And the cool thing about doing this oversized slide is by doing the oversized slide, most of the time we slide the couches in here, you don't have any counter space. Doing the oversized slide, we get the bigger couch and we do get you know, some kind of arm counter space here. You can throw a phone on, keep your drinks on them. We have outlets situated on each uh, armrest here. So again, you can plug your phone in, have them right here, easily accessible for you guys. Up above, we do have your overhead cabinets. Again, giving you guys plenty of storage wherever we can fit it in on these trailers. And the cool thing I want to show you guys is when we were building this trailer, they wanted something to kind of show how these people met. And I believe, if I remember the story right, they met in St. Louis or something like that at Mardi Gras maybe. I can't remember exactly, but I know they went ahead and they optioned these, and it's probably the best place to show it to you guys. We have these for release uh, nail heads on all of our valences, so it's positioned on all four corners of our valences. So again, nice little touches to kind of make this trailer their own. And you can kind of see them as we work our way around. Any valence in this trailer is going to have them on all four corners. So it's again, really cool, really nice silver touches that kind of match that crock but make the trailer kind of one of a kind for these guys, which is really awesome. Kind of talking more storage. In each of these armrests, we are going to have more storage. Really nice places to just kind of tuck stuff away, maybe magazines, stuff that'll fit just nice and cozy in there. And then down low below your couch, you're going to get some storage as well. You're going to have three big flip down cabinets in storing bedding, blankets, stuff just kind of out of the way. Again, easily accessible. You can store sheets in there. If you do have someone staying on this big couch, pull the sheets out, wrap the couch real nice. And over here on our other wall, we do have a smaller size couch. Again, kind of same setup with that silver crock. Again, this is where the majority of your storage is gonna be kind of for this area. You're gonna have all your cabinetry up high with a shelf dividing them. Same thing over here. And then kind of a smaller cabinet, kind of sorting some stuff out of there. But a cool thing we did in this trailer is we upgraded from kind of our typical um, hub for all our uh, 
you know, speaker control, stuff like that. We went ahead and upgraded it. Reason we upgraded it and it looks a little different is because this does have a kicker system in it. So it's got upgraded audio in this trailer. You can notice the speakers up top, they're all lab labeled kicker. They're not this typical trailer speakers we put in here. I believe there is a subwoofer somewhere in this trailer, but I cannot find it. Um, but it does have a kicker system in it. It's really cool. Their TV is going to run through that. Their music's going to run through that. All their audio is going to run through that. So they're going to have a really cool experience when they're entertaining guests in this trailer. Again, a little bit smaller couch than our oversized couch, but again, this one will fully lay into a bed as well. And then we went ahead and we mounted some 110 outlets and USB outlets down low on this as well. So again, if you're plugging your phone in, stuff like that, you have that right there available next to this couch. But the thing they wanted is we kind of ran into a problem. We wanted two couches, but we didn't have enough space to get counter space for this couch. We went ahead and we mounted a flip up countertop extension in this trailer. So again, whoever's sitting here has a place to again, put their drinks, put their phones, plug their phone right in down low and have that available. Again, it kind of blocks your door a little bit. So that's why we have it as a flip up and not just a hard mounted countertop extension. So if you're maybe in your trailer for the night, not going to be going in and out, you can flip that up and use it and then you can flip it down and out of the way if you're going to be in and out of this trailer. We'll finish off, we'll move back here in the bathroom. Behind me kind of in this corner, we have your huge wardrobe in this. You have high hanging up high, low hanging low. It's fully carpeted, really nice. We do have some stuff in here. So what this is, this is your carpet for your movable table. So they went ahead and did a movable table. So again, give them some more counter space because it is a smaller kitchen area. But I wanted to show you guys the cool option we did on this table head. So we did a full copper table head on this. So again, this copper, it's really flashy. It's gonna shine out really nice in this trailer and kind of contrast all the dark we did. Um, so this will mount to that carpet base. They can move it around wherever they want in this trailer. Move it for more counter space. They can move it for eating space off each couch. They can take it outside and use it for outdoor cooking. So they can do a lot of cool stuff with this table. And again, it's a super cool color that's really flashy in this nice trailer. So again, you guys get to pick some super cool options when you guys go down to Outlaw. Um, pretty much if you can dream it down there, they will make it happen for you guys. Moving next to our cabinet, we do have our shower. Um, again, they get a pick. They don't have so many options for you guys to pick as far as what do you want to do for your shower kind of backsplash. Um, but they went ahead and they did this nice white kind of tile look and it's really cool. It is an oversized shower. Um, just a really cool setup in this trailer. And then it shuts off with these sliding circular doors. And again, it looks really, really nice and neat in this trailer. Coming over to our bathroom side wall, we did mount a mirror right here so you can stand in this open space, get dressed, be able to see how you're looking for the day. Down low, we do have your full porcelain toilet. Customer opted for that wood toilet seat, again, with that silver crock accent on top, so kind of keeping the flow moving through this trailer. Over here on our vanity, we do have your big vanity cabinet, again, giving you guys plenty of storage for your medicine cabinet, keeping all your toiletries in there tucked away, super, super nice. And then down low, we picked this really cool kind of one inch tile backsplash. It wasn't originally what they picked. Um, Outlaw, I'm sure as you know, if you've been building the trailer through Outlaw, production right now is kind of crazy as far as not Outlaws having issues, but people are getting supply issues as far as not being able to keep up with demand or stuff's just getting discontinued. So this wasn't where you originally picked, but as you can see, Outlaw works great with customers as far as, hey, we can't get this right now. Do you want to wait for what you want? Or do you want us to go through the whole process, pick exactly what's going to fit in this trailer? So the customer sat down for probably two or three days with me and Outlaw. We had some new options thrown in front of them. Wasn't exactly what they want, but we took those three days, found something, and I think it turned out absolutely great in this trailer, maybe even better than what we had picked before. So again, Outlaw is there to help the customers. They're there to give you guys your dream trailer. So this backsplash turned out really, really well with that Corian countertop. And then I, we showed you guys that hammer nickel sink up front. We did a little bit something different back here. We went with this kind of gray porcelain. Um, again, really cool. It's not your typical steel sink or your stainless sink. It's gonna look a little different. Um, it's a little bit deeper than your typical, you know, round oval you're gonna get back here. So it's a really cool setup we did. And then you will get some big storage back here. Again, underneath your sink, you're gonna have storage and access to your water pump if you ever need to service it. The cool thing we did is this isn't a swing type door. It's actually a flip down door. So again, you don't want it to swing out, get in the way, but if you want to just throw stuff in there, maybe some dirty clothes, I believe they are maybe gonna use it as a clothes hamper. I can't remember, but it just gives them a nice way to fold that down, toss stuff in there when they don't need it. Up high before we step out, it does have a max air fan. So again, this fan is controlled open close. You get to control your fan speed, whether it's pulling air into this trailer or pulling air out. 
So again, just nice little touches that make using this trailer really easy. If you're taking a shower and you don't want it to steam up, you can have that suck the steam in. Or maybe if it's a little uh, warmer outside than it is in your trailer, you can suck that warm air in, heat this bathroom up before you step in the shower. So the last thing I want to do before we step out and start talking about some of the actual trailer features, I want to show you guys the dimmer switches we put. So the whole living quarter is run off dimmer switches. Um, and I can show you guys kind of how they work a little bit. So on those dimmer switches, you can see as I hit down, I am able to dim this whole trailer down to maybe just a little accent light. I can dim it up on anything. So your couch over there will dim, your living quarters will dim. And the other cool thing we did on this trailer that I forgot to point out before we step out, I'm gonna click the lights off just to show you guys. We did do mood lighting in this trailer. So if you will look, on this trailer underneath all of your valences. We do have some mood lighting ran on a track rope light in every single valence in this trailer. So again, you're getting some nice mood lighting. You can shut this trailer down, have your mood lights on, you can have your down low blue lights, and then you'll have this nice valence light. So it'll get a really nice kind of ambiance in this trailer. We do also, I can't show you it because it's under the trailer, but we do have switches for our holding tank heaters. Again, they're gonna be traveling in winter months most of the time. Um, or some of the time, and they wanted to be able to have that heat ducted underneath, but also be able to switch those on to keep their holding tanks nice and warm so they're not freezing up in those winter months. As we step out, we have kind of some minor like slide control, your awning in and out. This is for your electric portion of your hot water heater. So the hot water heater in these outlaws, if you go with the full outlaw conversion, you will get an electric option. That's also backed by that propane option. So you can heat your hot water however you want. And then again, it is a gas power generator powering us right now through this video. So I'm sure as you've seen, we walked through this whole interior trailer and that's just how quiet those generators are when they're running this trailer. You can't even hear them in here while we're doing this video. So that's the gist of the living quarters. Again, we can do some really, really cool stuff with Outlaw and it really, really accompanies our Cimarron side as well. As we walk around, you'll see all the cool custom stuff we did through Cimarron. Up top, we have your awning that was controlled by that switch I showed you guys inside. We're gonna have your little six inch awning light to give you guys some light cast out here while you're walking in and out. And then down low, we went ahead and we upgraded to this handle. It's kind of hard to see in the daylight, but this will glow blue during the nighttime. Down low, we have your freshwater tank fill, which will fill the freshwater tank underneath that smaller couch inside. And then again, we do have some of your outlets positioned by the door. If you want to plug in an electric smoker, a grill, anything like that, you can plug it in right there. Down low, we do have your uh, mood lights or your clearance lights on the outside. Again, if you're entertaining right here, having tables, cooking, lawn chairs thrown out it's going to cast some nice light with that six inch awning light you're going to have your lights down low and then again you'll have your outdoor speakers out here so you can get that music out here while you're entertaining guests thing the customer opted to do is we do have a fresh water bucket fill right here on the outside so again the water and dogs if they want to fill horse buckets anything like that they can use that fresh water tank on board and do whatever they want with their water on the outside here moving more to kind of our horse style on here we do have your three sliding type windows on your hip wall your three tie outs down low. You will have a 16 inch awning light up high to again cast some light if you're tying your horses out early morning, late night, you'll be able to see what you're doing. This is an air ride trailer, so it is two 8,000 pound Dexter Airflex axles. Cool thing about the air ride system is it's gonna make that ride super, super smooth for your horses. But another thing is, if that air ride system ever does fail, you are riding on two just normal rubber torsions under that. So if you're traveling down the road, your air ride system, your compressor, something goes wrong, you do just have normal axles too, and you're free to just travel with them like that. Again, all our Cimarron's are coming nitrogen filled in our tires. So these are nitrogen filled tires. You're not gonna have to worry about that PSI dropping on those cold mornings and then coming back up on those warm afternoons. It's really gonna balance out your PSI and add to the life of your tires doing that. Come around to our load side of this trailer, you'll see that big generator box up high. That is where the generator is mounted in this trailer. Customer on this trailer, as you can see, we do have a rear ramp. We have your kind of typical Cimarron folding rear tack, bridle hooks on the door, brush tray drown low. Then in that tack room, we have your three saddle racks, your blanket bars up high. And again, these are fully adjustable in this trailer. So you can move the height of all those. You can situate them and go saddle, saddle bar, blanket bar, however you guys want to set this up, you guys can. And then we do have our folding rear tack wall. Some more bridle hooks up high. We went ahead and we fully carpeted behind those bridle hooks to keep the bridles from scratching this, uh, the aluminum sheets on this partition wall up. 
So again, really simple tack wall. You can fold it out of the way if you're not hauling tack and you wanna haul something else and have a little more room. You get a lot of options this way. In the rear of our trailer, customer did opt for worm flooring. So again, you're getting the strongest floor you can get on a horse trailer market. When you do a Cimarron, you're getting a floor built on four inch centers, a V-truss system. It is the strongest floor you can get. And then on top of that, they went ahead and did this permanent worm flooring. So they will never have to worry about pulling mats in this trailer. They will never have to worry about the floor underneath this worm going bad. They built a really, really nice, really custom trailer. So by doing this worm, they're just adding to the life of this trailer. And it's a really cool product. It's gonna give your horses some cushion while they're traveling. It's gonna be really easy for you guys to clean. You can just hose this out. It is a permanent sealed floor, so you never have to worry about that floor going bad. For our rear divider in this trailer, we made it a telescoping type. So again, if they want to fold that tack room wall over, they can slide this divider back into itself, slide it over out of the way, still be able to shut their rear doors. It just gives them more options as far as what they can do with this trailer. Moving to our second divider, it is a full stud type divider. These are padded dividers as well. So again, if they're hauling two horses, they can use this front stall as more of a storage area, stuff like that. The thing I wanna point out is we went ahead and we added an extra three inches of width to these stalls. So these are extra wide stalls. They have some bigger horses that they show. So again, they're getting this extra tall trailer. They're getting these extra wide stalls set up for their horses. Um, and we can do super cool stuff like that. If you wanna build these stalls, five foot wide we can do it i don't suggest it but we can do it um, so again set up exactly for what they're doing the other thing we went ahead and did in these stalls is they're not our typical cimarron latch stalls they they are ar latched at the fronts so again if they want to pull these dividers out of this trailer and have just a wide open back fold that tack wall over haul whatever they need to haul that's maybe not horses they can take these dividers out super super easy it's one pin for each divider and they come right out of this trailer super easy. So again, we gave these customers a lot of options as far as what they can do with this trailer. So we move up front, a couple cool things we do that we, didn't, we don't do on every Cimarron. We do have an auxiliary shower mounted in this trailer. I know these customers are hauling dogs with them a lot, so they're gonna wanna be able to keep their dogs back here while they're stuck at shows, have, be able to whip that shower off. They can wash their dogs off. Maybe if they get muddy at a show, something like that. They can wash themselves off, clean tack out in your stall area. So they do have that auxiliary shower mounted, which is a really cool option. Another option they wanted to go ahead and add is up high. You can see we have two air ducts. That is for our furnace. The furnace is ducted into the stall area. So if they're traveling, want to keep their horses warmer, or if they're staying overnight, have their dogs back here and want to pump some heat back here for those dogs, they do have their two furnace vents ducted back here as well. Something else we did is we went ahead and we mounted our 120 or 110 bolt outlets here on our partition wall as well. So again, if they need to plug fans in, plug whatever they need to do in this first stall, they have the option to run those off those plugs right there. So again, some really cool features we throw on that are you know not necessities by any means, but they're gonna make traveling with this trailer really, really user friendly. And it's gonna fit that customer for exactly what they need to do. Our front stall is fitted with an escape door. Again, we have a chest bar there to kind of keep your horses from leaning. We have mangers run through the length of this trailer, but it is set up to run a feed bag in this front stall as well. Cool thing about having an escape door on a stud divider trailer is you, if you are storing hay, grain, totes, whatever it may be in this front stall, you can easily access it through this door and not have to offload horses if you're stopping. Or if you wanna step in this front stall and check on your back two horses, you always have that option to do that without having to fully fold that ramp, open the back doors, offload horses. It just gives you another access point you can use this area as kind of a mud room into your bathroom. If you're, you know, you're out, you're muddy, you don't want to go all the way through the LQ, you can come through the side door, wash off with your shower, and then go right into your living quarter area and keep everything nice and clean. So now that we talked about kind of some of the extra features this customer threw on this trailer, some standard stuff Cimarron does, you will get your LED lighting for each one of your three stalls. Again, that is operated from a switch in the back. You'll have an LED light for each one of your stalls. And again, it's just really nice to be able to, if you're hauling horses, you can click those lights on and check on them if you're stopping. If you want to give your horses some light, if they're eating, stuff like that while you're traveling, you can run with these lights on and give your horses some nice light. Up high, another standard thing that comes on all Cimarron's you're going to order, unless for some reason you don't want them. You are going to have your roof vents for each one of your three stalls. Again, you can open these up two ways, either to pull air into this trailer or pull air out while you're traveling. So again, getting that nice, clean, consistent, cool air flowing over your horses on those long summer days while you're traveling is gonna be immensely beneficial to you guys. On top of that, any Cimarron you order, whether it be a living quarters, just a using horse trailer, a stock trailer, a pin type, a show trailer, 
It is going to come standard with an insulated roof through the whole side of this or the whole length of this trailer, even in your tack room if you're not running an LQ. So you're going to get those benefits of having better temperature regulation in your trailer. It holds up to hail way better than it does, you know, just a standard aluminum roof. This will take substantial hail before it starts to dent and ding. It's a really, really great product that Cimarron uses. And on top of that, in this stall area, we are fully insulated. Your walls are lined and insulated. Of course, not where your windows are, but you're down low, your walls are lined and insulated in between your windows, up high, and then again, your ceiling. And the cool thing about that is, is if you order a, a horse trailer model trailer from us, whether it be a North Star or a Lone Star, they're gonna insulate pretty much all your walls. The Lone Star, they don't insulate them as much just because they have framing built in there to kind of be more of a stock trailer type, but you are gonna get a fully insulated horse trailer, especially if you order that North Star model. So again, it's gonna keep your horses a lot more comfortable I know these customers, they're hauling dogs with them most of the time, so their dogs are going to be really comfortable in here as well. The last thing I'll show you guys before we jump out and go around our driver's side, it is a manger trailer. They opted for kind of a skinnier manger to give their horses some more room. They do haul bigger warm blood type horses, um, but again, it's going to give them a place to feed their horses. They can grain their horses, do whatever they do when they travel. And the cool thing about this is, is it's built in with the drain. So if you get where you're going, you want to clean that grain out, kind of make it nice and neat. I know grain can get pretty nasty when horses are eating on it. They can just take a hose and rinse this out and it'll all run to a drain here at the back of the trailer and it'll go through a tube straight to the ground. So they can keep this trailer really nice and neat without having to you know, scoop nasty stuff out of here. They can just wash it straight down the drain. We're gonna move around. I'm gonna show you guys some of the features on the driver's side. It's gonna look really similar to that passenger side with a few exceptions. So we move around to this driver's side of this trailer. Up high, you'll notice we do have a six foot sheeted hay rack, to, which is white sheeted to match the color on this trailer. We do have your generator platform on the back. So we do that because your generator's mounted over there. We give you guys a nice deck to stand on so you can go up that ladder, get on that deck. You're not standing directly on the roof. Cimarron roofs are strong enough to stand on, but again, if you're tossing hay bales, stuff like that, you're gonna want something a little sturdier that's not gonna cave a little bit, give you a little more sturdier space to keep you safe while you're loading hay up there, checking on your generator, whatever it's gonna be. Down low, it is our fill for our gas tank on our generator on this trailer. So again, pull up to a pump, you're filling your truck at the front pump, you can easily pull up a little further, fill your rear gas tank and be on the road. It's all on the same side as your typical truck is set up these days. Down low, on our driver's side, we do have our big Cimarron drop windows. Cool thing about these drop windows is kind of a three type window. You will get your sliding type in the middle. If maybe you're feeding your horses, you don't want that wind whipping that hay around, or you just want to keep it a little warmer for your horses, you can open just this sliding type. Or if it's a hot day and you want to maximize your airflow, you can drop that down. It is jail barred to protect them from road debris or them sticking their heads out. You can easily check on your horses, do whatever you need to do. But then again, if you want to feed your horses after you already have them loaded, you can easily drop those jail bars, feed your horses, grain your horses, check on your horses, maybe take on or off some fly mass if you're traveling. So again, a really cool feature Cimarron throws on. And then again, with this being a manger trailer, we do have your manger doors as well. This carpeted area is where that fuel tank sits in these mangers. So again, it's nice and carpeted. It's gonna keep that tank looking nice. Anything you throw on there is gonna keep that from getting scratched up. But again, having mangers just gives you some of that extra storage because this is a living quarters trailer, you don't have as much tax storage. So by doing mangers, it just gives you a nice extra place to store some stuff. You will get that second manger door up front as well. And then again, here is the escape door on this trailer. So again, if you are using this as a mud room, it is super easy to access that area, step in, grab hay, feed your horses, do whatever you need to do. That chest bar is gonna drop out of the way, super easy. And again, just a really easy mud room, storage space. You're gonna have plenty of storage space, especially with them setting up these stalls extra wide. They're gonna be able to haul plenty of grain, plenty of hay without ever having to crawl up on that hay rack. But this trailer is set up for those longer journeys. I know these customers, they travel a lot. They go to shows that are nowhere near Colorado and they're staying for weeks at a time. So this is gonna give them plenty of setup space to be able to store what they need for the week. They have more storage up top. They can do whatever they want with this trailer and be gone for a long time. Cool thing about the escape doors on Cimarron's, a lot of the times on escape doors, um, they don't have that framing work to build in a big, nice drop window like this for that front horse. A lot of times you're gonna get a little sliding type. So you do get a drop window. It's not necessarily the same size as your bigger drops, but you do have the option to really maximize that airflow for that front horse as well. So that's really nice we did that. 
Down low are our holding tank dumps for our gray and black tanks. Again, these are heated gray and black tanks. So you can flip that switch inside I showed you at the living quarters. They can heat these tanks in those cold winter months. They never have to worry about their uh, black and gray tanks gelling up or freezing up on them. And then this is your 50 amp plug-in. Again, it's a double AC trailer. So when we like to go anything over 16 foot, we will put two air conditioners on them. To do that, we have to go ahead and upgrade to a 50 amp package. So this is a 50 amp trailer. Then this gives you a really good view of your slide out. Again, it is an oversized slide. Cool thing about it is it's a hydraulic slide or actually it's not a hydraulic slide, it's electric, it's an oversized electric slide, but the cool thing about it is a lot of times people are concerned with slide outs because if they ever get stuck out, there's no way to get them back in on an electric slide. But the way we run this corkscrew system on these slide outs, if your batteries ever die, you can't get your slide out in. We do have an odor override feature. You'll get a handy little latch. If your slide ever gets stuck out, you can hand crank that back in and get back on the road without having to wait for someone to come service your slide. So again, you're doing a big slide out trailer, you don't want to get stuck. They give you an option to get out of the jam if you are ever in one. And up here at the front, we do have your hardwired city water connection. So again, if you're somewhere that has access to water, you can just run a hose in there. It has a built-in pressure regulator in it. You hook the hose right to it and you're always gonna have constant water in here with ever, without ever having to worry about your fresh water tank going dry. Up here at the front of the trailer, we'll finish off by talking about some things. We do have your oversized 30 pounds. They're not 20 pound tanks. They are 30 pound propane tanks. Again, powering your hot water heater, your cooking stove, your fridge, stuff like that. So you do get enough propane to manage those. Above those, we do have your aluminum battery box. Again, I talk all the time about how great Cimarron and Outlaw are about you know labeling stuff, having everything color coded. That way, if you ever have a problem in this trailer, you know exactly how to trace those wires. So as you'll see, these two batteries power your living quarters, your one on your right powers your air ride system, and then all of your cabling is labeled. Like this one right here is labeled house recharge. So that is recharging your house batteries. Again, everything is labeled. So if you ever do have a problem, whatever tech you have, come look at these. They can easily track down way, way quicker than it would be trying to figure out what wires are. They are all labeled nice and situated neat for you guys. And then over here, tucked behind our battery box, again, this is an air ride trailer. That is your compressor and your controls for your air ride system. So again, that's your on off and that is your raise and lower. And then that air ride system goes in and it keeps this trailer at about 140 pounds all by itself. You don't have to worry about it. So again, great features. Over here, it is your spare tire, your matching aluminum wheel, and it is a dual hydraulic jack system trailer. So again, they're gonna easily press a button. They're gonna be able to take this trailer on and off their truck super easy without having to hand crank this big trailer up. Cool thing about it on these hydraulic jacks, we go ahead and we order the model that has a manual override. So again, a lot of times customers are concerned, again, slide out not going in. We have an override for that. If your batteries ever die and you, you, you don't have access to charge them back up and get these jacks working, we do give you guys a lever and you can, again, hand crank this trailer on and off your truck in a jam if you ever were in one. With the battery disconnects you put on these trailers, you shouldn't ever have to worry about getting in a jam just as long as you remember to turn those switches off. So again, this is a super cool trailer. I love the customers that built this trailer. They're great people. They've been fun to work with and we gave them a great product and I really hope they're happy with it. Um, if you're interested in this trailer, maybe you want to reference some stuff if you're building your own trailer. The stock num number for this trailer is 5N220157. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron Northstar three horse living quarter. It's got that nice 16 foot four full custom outlaw conversion in there. Again, it's a great trailer and we can do some really, really cool things. If you want to build a trailer like this, maybe see if we have something similar to this on order, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name is Tanner here at Transwest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for watching.